Hi class, we're going to get started with step one, creating a title for our film. So I want to make sure that again, you're inside of iMovie and over here on the top, we're going to start with the word backgrounds. Okay. And the reason we're going to bring in a background is because I'm going to create two titles with you and then I'll have you pause and go and create your title. Okay. So one way you can create a title is by choosing a background. And so we're going to create something for spot and waffles. Um, and I want to get something kind of fun and funky like our class gerbils. Maybe I'll go with this one. It's kind of crazy. We'll see how this works out. Okay, so if I like this, I'm going to drag this down here to the bottom, which is going to be our work area. Okay, so I like this. I'm going to take this background and I'm going to drag it. Okay, I had to think for a little bit into my work area. What I want you to notice, let me zoom in, is that here it says four decimal point zero s. Um, so this is four seconds long. Why is that important? Because when you're watching this movie, it's good to know that this is four seconds long. Okay. Um, we'll deal a little more with the seconds here in a bit. Okay. So from here, if I want to add a title onto this movie, I want to come back up to the top. And so on the top, remember we have those tabs, the tabs that say my media, audio, video titles, backgrounds, transitions, which one are we going to click to get a title? The answer is titles. And so if we're wanting to create um, the very beginning of our movie, Waffles and Spots, Spot and Waffles, um, we're going to look through and see, is there a title that we like? Okay. Um, I'm going to let you choose whichever one you want. And I think I'm going to stick with this one right here, the standard. Okay. And so if you like a title, you're going to do exactly what we did with the background is you're going to drag and drop it into our work area. So I'm going to click and I'm going to drag this down. The thing that's different and what you're going to notice is that little plus sign right on the bottom and you're going to notice that it's purple. Okay. So wherever I drop it, there's that purple line. Well, that purple line is where this title is going to start. And so I want it to start at the very beginning of the clip. So I'm going to drop it right here. When I let go and this is on top of the clip, right? You're going to notice that the title is here and it says title text here. But notice what changed over here on the right hand side in our preview area. Now you're going to notice it says title text here, title text here, title text here. Well, anytime you've created something and you've been able to type like in Schoology, you'll notice that you can just click and then manipulate the text. So I'm going to do that because this is selected here in my work area, right? I can come up here to the top and I can say our great movie. And then here, I'm going to triple click. So click once, you get a cursor, click twice, it highlights one word, click three times, one, two, three, it'll um, highlight a sentence or sometimes an entire paragraph. So three clicks and I'm going to title this spot and wherever my end key is and waffles, spot and waffles. So now here you can see that if I head back over to our workspace, which is on the bottom, um, that line is called our playhead. And so when I move it, it's showing you what the video looks like so far. Okay. One thing that is really neat that I'm going to just spend a little bit of time on up here on the top. If I want to make any changes, there we go. I'm going to double click because it didn't allow me to make any changes. One thing that I forgot to tell you is that up here on the top, you have your editing tools like you do in Microsoft Word or in our Apple Pages document. But anyway, you have a lot of options here. I'm not going to go through them all, but if you need to bold text or you need to center it or move it over to the left, you have those options to make those changes here. I'm going to close out of this little color box here. And so that was adding a title. Okay. I want to real quickly add a title, show you how to add a title over a picture or a over a video clip. And then I'm going to send you off to go ahead and create your own title. So my iMovie is not in full screen, but that's just because I like to move it around while I'm creating. And so I'm clicking on the top and I'm dragging iMovie kind of out of the way so I can find my folder that I created with all of my spot and waffles clips. So I'm going to open up spot and waffles and I'm going to find one of the pictures that someone created. So when I click on it, you'll see here is spot. And if you're not sure what you're looking at, if you just hit your space bar, it'll make the picture nice and large. Oh, look, there's, I hope that's not waffles guys, because I didn't really know. I can't remember, um, but you can tell me. Yep, let's try the spot picture. Drag it so you can see it's moving slowly. There we go into my work area. And so when I drop it in, 
Now spot is here and I can resize my iMovie. You could click a title like this sparkly one right here, drag it down here, drop it, and then we could type spot and waffles. I hope I'm spelling waffles right. There we go, waffles. And then you have a title, okay? So let's check it out. Be aware of where the playhead is, that line that goes up and down. I'm gonna bring it to the very beginning and I'm just gonna click, I'm not gonna do anything. I'll hit the space bar or you can press the play button in your preview. I tend to like to just hit the space bar. So spot and waffles, I'm previewing it by fourth grade. It moves over to the next one, that's spot and waffles. And you'll notice that um, the title is over the picture. So you have a choice, take a moment, and create a title for your spot and waffles video. You can choose to use a picture or you can choose to use a built-in background.